from this damn church to my necklace. All my niggas out there, cheers up all of them. I might pay that shit, shit. Which one? The blue one. Because I want to go here. I'm going to let you go over here. I'm going to let you go over here. I'm going to let you go over here. Bitch, please. Not your average motherfucker, see? Yeah. What it do, man? Be wide through the hallway. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, share. All that good shit, man. <coughs> Alright, man. I was on that doggy style. G's up, hold down. Snoop Dogg. The first CD I ever bought. Not the first rap song I heard, but like the first CD I ever bought back in 93. In the mall. I remember it like yesterday. But yeah, man, let's get to it, man. And before I even start the, the story, I just wanna say something, man. Now I be I be I be watching other folks' channels and shit and looking at everybody else, you know, see how they do theirs and what they be talking about, man. And what I came to the conclusion of, all I can be is myself. All I do is roll up, I grab the camera. I play a song, and then I just hit record, man, and hey, I, I speak it how I feel it, man. And I hope y'all respect it, man. I appreciate everybody that's been viewing, commenting, liking, all that, man. Just continue supporting your boy. And with all that being said, I want to tell y'all a story about the time I had to hold up for my big sister when her boyfriend was acting like a little bitch. Now, like I always say at the end of my videos, I always say, hold up for your shit, you know, be a man, you know, stand up for your kids and all that type stuff. All right, well, he's the total opposite of that. And so, and this was like 15 years ago. Mind you, his son at 15, but I'm, I'm going to get to all that. But all right, this is how it started off. I met my mama career chilling. He come through. Now, I met my mama career chilling, me, my mama, and my sister. That's the only people there. I'm back in the room chilling. He pull up and asked to see my sister. So they start talking or whatever, but he want to go outside and talk. And I see he acting crazy, and I'm like, nah, boo, you, gonna, you can sit right here at the dope part, and he can stand at the porch, and y'all can talk like that or whatever, because, nah, I ain't, uh, you can't go outside with him, because then I can't see you. I don't know yet. You know, they ain't happy. And like I said, I'm the little brother, but... I got a big heart, man. I ain't no big dude. I guess I got that little man complex. I don't know, but anyway. So, he, they out there talking or whatever. I'm watching from, I just like, this is the top, though. You walk out, and this right here is the door to go outside. Now, I'm watching from right here. Now, as they right here, I see him push her head. From right here, I come running out the motherfucker. Come down the steps, running out, and on, on, on everything. I put everything... And my mama and my daddy and everybody in my family behind this punch. And bah, right, bah, right there in the eye. And I just continue to be swinging. Wild on the motherfucker. Not wild, but I'm talking about quick. Not letting up, because I'm not going to, like I said, my video is real. I ain't going to stun. This dude ain't no little nigga. He, he ain't tall, but, you know, he he one of them pen nigga. He fresh out the pen. He did like three or four. He about 240, you know, he swole your big nigga. I ain't gonna front, man, you a big dude. But I'm gonna tell everybody that's watching this, man, don't don't let that big shit scare you, because, man, big dudes, man, they, they just big. That's it. Don't let that shit fail you, man, because most of you can't fight. But anyway, man, I'm out there, we fighting or whatever, and, well, I'm fighting. He just taking the ad whooping, and that's the truth. <laughs> I'm fighting, he's taking the ad whooping, and I noticed that my nephew, his son, came, you know, he watching this. So I stopped <clears throat> because by this time I had him in a chokehold, about, about to take him out. I'm talking about, about to take him out, for real, for real. I don't play by my sisters. My, the mom, I only got two sisters. I got four sisters, but it's two darn. You know, that's all I got. I ain't playing about them. Fuck that. And, man, <clears throat> all right, he leave. You know, when I let him go, he take out. I don't see him no more. Then he come back wanting to talk and shit. And by this time, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm not fighting no more. I'm, I'm really finna take this nigga out, man. I'm not fighting no more. Fuck that. But then by this time, police, everybody then came. So my mom and them then came. You know, they done called them and 
They didn't show up or whatever. They can't find him, though, he didn't take out again. And so he go running up the street. Eventually, they catch and They come back to the house, and they're like, well, mama come in there, you want to pay a charge? I'm like, hell no, nah, I'm not going to pay no fucking charge. I'm going to pay a charge on a nigga phone. Nah, fuck that. You know, I see him. You know, I handled it anyway, but if he's still, you know, if it's still a problem, we're going to see each other. But, man, long story short, man, really didn't, didn't nothing happen behind that, man. I seen that man, like, the probably three days later at my partner's house, and that's his cousin. But they just know how he is, man. And shit. He, he, he. Like, like niggas say, nah, he ain't want that smoke. He ain't want that smoke. <laughs> nah. But, yeah, man. Niggas are trying to play your, and 